This is Chris. He is my stepbrother. He's usually found running on mountains, upstairs, in the gym, or at the station. Mostly shirtless. I've always known Chris is driven. But now I wanted to know why. So I sat Chris down, and this is what I got. <laughs> <laughs> we met at an older age, but that didn't stop me from getting to know my stepbrother. Born and bred on the beaches, it's easy to call him a stereotype. But what lies under the shirtless skin of my brother? It's his day-to-day -day life that tells that story best. I didn't know when I started it. I'd had about 10 jobs in 10 years, bouncing between careers. But as soon as I found the fireys, I knew it was the job for me. But then I asked about the tough times. It's pretty fucking scary going into a structure fire. You got smoke to the ground, black and thick. You can't see your hands in front of you. But going in with the guys and girls you're with, they're your biggest asset. They've got your back no matter what, and it's a pretty epic feeling. And I wanted to know, how does that impact your training? Some may call my drive for athletic performance an addiction, but at the end of the day, the crew's life and my life are what's most important. So when I'm fit and strong, I know that we have the best chance of coming out. Being a firefighter has been really supportive of my life outside being a competitive endurance racer. It's given me the time and dedication I need to put into training. And trained Chris does. But it's his ability to drag people along his escapades that's truly amazing. Yep, that's me. And this is just one of Chris's cruisy daily adventures he somehow talks me into. But how this is just fun and games for some, it's not just that for Chris. Some of the races I've done well in over the years, the stadium series over in America, the podium in uh, Boston, Chicago, San Francisco, Spartan races and, and um, podiumed and won several races um, over the years. I've won um, a couple of True Grit races, 10 kilometer races. I've won several 24 hour True Grit endurance races. So this is Chris, the high performing athlete. But when I look at Chris, I see so much more. I see my roommate and best friend. I see a mentor and a motivator. I see emotion and a wicked sense of humor. He's the brother I never knew I needed. Out of my mind, how could I be so blind? How could I not see? My favourite dinosaur would have to be a Velociraptor, I'd say. Uh, your favourite non-pornographic magazine? Good housekeeping. <laughs> if you're a chick, who's the one guy you'd sleep with? Luke Slobin. I've seen the way he looks at me, and it's um, it's kind of scary, but I like it. And he's got really soft hands because he never really trained, so you know the massages would be nice, and he'd look after me well. <laughs>